today I'm going to be showing you how to do clasped weave, which is featured in our February mug rug. Um, we are using two contrasting colors of yarn. In our case, we're using red and white because it's Valentine's Day in February. Um, I've already done my first four plain weave and my hem stitch, and now I'm ready to begin doing the clasp. So to do this, we're going to raise the heddle to the upright position, pass the shuttle through, and I always like to adjust my edges at this stage um, before I pass through the other way. Lay your white yarn over the top and then pass your shuttle back through. Then hang on to your tail a little bit and you can see you're dragging the white into the same shed. Um, so you're actually going to have two strands of yarn in each shed. So we're going to place this right into the middle, and according to our instructions, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 on this side, and that means that this piece right here, this area right here, is where the center will be. And then you'll go ahead and beat that down. Then go into the lower position, place your shuttle through the shed. This time you'll just go under the yarn, and we want to go under the tail as well on this pass because we want to get rid of that tail. And again, I'm going to check my edges, leave the heddle in the lower position, pass the shuttle back through, and drag that white yarn. Now on this one we're going to start to make an angle going off to make our diamond shape. So we're going to go slightly to the right, and I'm going to actually reach in here and I'm just going to pull that tail down to the bottom and out of the way. Um, and then you'll go ahead and beat. Then go back into the upper position and again under the white yarn. Adjust your corners or your edges, excuse me, and then drag the white yarn back through. Now here we're going to start to go off to the left. So every other one we're going to go left, right, left, right so that we can make our diamond. Um, and we're going to go off to the side. Now if you're concerned about getting your angles correct um, and nice and even, you can make yourself a little cheater. This is just a folded piece of paper. Um, I've got it at a 45 degree angle. Then we're going to go lower. Again, pass the shuttle through. Snug up the edge, and we've, I didn't go under. Make sure you go under the white thread, and then back over, dragging that white over to the next side. We can still use our little cheater, place it down at the bottom, and you want the angle for where it's going to sit, not where it is at the moment, so look down here. And we're just going to continue until we get to the point where we're going to start coming back in and then we'll basically just do the opposite. reached the point where I'm going to have to start to come in, back in to make my diamond shape. So all I'm going to do on this is when I'm coming back through I'm going to line up with the one below as I go and that will give me a nice even shape. As you can see, I've completed my diamond, so I'm going to cut 
cut the white yarn. So on this particular type of weave, it looks better if you go ahead and weave this into this same shed rather than the next row. So we're going to go back into this upper shed, which is where we were. And instead of just going straight back in, because that won't hold it, we need to wrap around this end thread. So we're just going to wrap around that and then go back through the shed. And I like to pull my tails down to the back so that they're not showing. And then go ahead and push that in. And it's, it's a tiny bit thicker, um, but it really doesn't show in the final product. So then we're just going to do our four rows of plain weave. Then we will cut off enough to do our hem stitch. And this one will be complete. So now we're just going to go ahead and put in our divider papers. This is just some paper that I've got folded. And this is going to separate my mug rugs and also allow for when I cut through here, I will have a nice even fringe. And then I'm ready to advance my warp and start my next one.